Goodyear is spinning its tires on almost a foot of snow right here on the Emerald Coast. You would have to go out of the country and maybe it would snow and maybe it wouldn't. And so here you have control of that. The McKinley Climatic Lab has been transformed into a winter wonderland with the temperature a brisk 15 degrees. The lab can crank up the heat to more than 130 degrees, send sand and dust flying, and create makeshift streets of ice. A tire company is driving vehicles around on snow in uh, pretty close to summertime conditions outside here is very unique. No one else that I know of in the world can do what we can do here. Uh, the reaction to our needs is instantaneous. Uh, it's, uh, very good for us to work here. Since it opened in the 40s, just about every kind of aircraft has been through McKinley's version of Mother Nature. And despite a $74 million facelift in 1997, the military's demand for the lab has dropped. In the 80s, the lab was packed with military testing, but with recent defense downsizing, McKinley has been forced to depend on income from companies like Boeing and Goodyear. We've only been uh doing this, trying to uh, push commercial aspects over the past year or so, so I don't think it's as widespread as it could be, but I think the word has, has spread quite a bit. Uh, it had gone out of the country. Uh, the Department of Defense had the facility uh, booked up pretty solid, and then they went through a major rehab that was several years, and uh, so we're back in business again. Goodyear's tests at Eglin have proved valuable. They plan on unveiling their new snow and ice tire in the next few weeks. Lab directors hope they'll spark a trend and more companies will find a need to brave McKinley's elements. On Eglin Air Force Base, Molly Mangelsdorf, Emerald Coast News.